our family. Hey, what's up, Power Family? How you guys doing? Hey, what's up, everybody else? How you guys doing? Today's video is going to be in a unboxing of a wireless keyboard. I got this wireless keyboard on Amazon for about twenty-five dollars. Um, about a week ago I do believe um, I don't know who makes this keyboard it just says wireless keyboard so it's not made it's, it's not made by Logitech and it's not made by Samsung or Apple or none of the above um, it's just a wireless um, keyboard um, it doesn't have a brand name to it I don't believe um, because there's no brand name on the box. Uh, but we're going to take a look at it and I'm going to do the unboxing and see what the keyboard has inside to offer. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video with the Power 99 FM. So here we go. Let me fix the lightning real quick. Let's see if this is good. Yep, that's pretty decent. Okay. So, here we go. Yeah, there's no, there's no brand name to it. It just said why this keyboard for, um, Mac, PC, Android TV, and the laptop. Uh, it's made by Shenzhen's Shenhan's China. Um, they give an email address here. Um, it just says email good after sales at gmail.com. Um, oh, it says. Yeah, it doesn't really say much. Yeah, it says made in China. <laughs> yeah, so let's open this up and see what this has. I should have got a knife. But... Oh well. I'm gonna throw away the box anyway, so. It doesn't really matter. There we go. No knife needed. Um, it has a user manual here. User manual. This is blue thin. Oh, it's, uh, it's some kind of lucky rewards code. That's pretty cool. Put that back there. Use the manual. Just basic stuff. Put that over there. It comes with the um, little um, unified receiver, I do believe, in here. Let's see, um, the box is no more, so we can throw that to the side. See what's in here. Just 
So this must be the USB extender that you use in case you need one. Um, in case your PC is far away, you need a little um, extender cable to reach the unified receiver that they give you. They're supposed to give you. Um, maybe it's inside the cover. I hope it is. If it's not inside the cover, then. I guess I'm out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a keyboard right here. It looks like the Logitech Z. Um, it looks like the Logitech K400 Plus keyboard. Um, yeah, it looks just like that. I might do a um, comparison between the Logitech K400, the Logitech K400 Plus, and this wireless keyboard. I might do a comparison between all three of them. Because I have all three of them now, so I might do a um, comparison between them. Um, when you get this keyboard, it's about... Because the Logitech K400 and K400 Plus keyboards about $39 or $30 so you save a little bit of money by getting this but I don't know how good this is compared to the other two keyboards um, The keyboard seems um, flimsy. Um, it really seems kind of flimsy. It seems like I could snap this in like two seconds. Um, the keys are uh, all right to type on. Um, I'm just going by first impressions here. I haven't really used it. Um, but I will do my review on the keyboard in about two or three days. Um, yeah, this is it. Just says name wireless touch keyboard. It's no brand name, so it's just a no name brand. So it's probably not that good if it's a no name brand. Um, I don't know, and it, and and it seems to have a mark on the keyboard already. There's a mark only on the keyboard. It's like an impression mark on the keyboard already. Hmm. Yeah, there's an impression. There's an impression mark on the keyboard. On this side, but not this side. This side doesn't have the impression mark, but this side has the impression mark. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so, already it tells me how good it is, um, which is probably not that good, but I haven't used it yet. Um, oh, you press this button right here. You press that hand button right there to turn the touchpad on or off. Okay. The um these two buttons right here are a little bit big for my liking. Um but they're there nonetheless for the touchpad. Um the volume controls are up here. Um volume up No volume up and volume down the meat buttons right here so the volume up down on the meat buttons right here up on the left on the right side and 
this little mouse indicator so you can turn the mouse on or off but that's up here too so I don't know why they put one down here to turn the touchpad off it is usually you can press this button to turn the touchpad on or off huh that's weird it's like that on the K400 keyboards um see what the unified receiver is let's see if this comes with batteries it probably doesn't come with batteries but no no batteries <laughs> um it cheats uh, it takes two um it has two triple A batteries. Um, oh, I don't have any triple A batteries. Oh, that's uh, so I can't use this yet. I don't have any triple A batteries. Um, Sorry, I'm not sure. I couldn't find an answer for that. But you can ask other Amazon customers this question and they may know. I sent a link to your phone to show you how. It's funny. I didn't even see your name, Alessa, and you just turned on. Why? I didn't even see your name and you just turned on. Why do you do that? Wow. That's that that's crazy. Okay. Unified receiver right here. It's a little unified receiver, so it's right there. But the only bad thing is I don't have any triple A batteries to use it. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, yeah, it takes three triple um, A batteries. Yep. Shit. No, it takes two. It takes two triple A batteries. <sighs> I don't have any triple A batteries. Damn it, I have to get some. Um, this thing right here has a place you can put the unified receiver into, which I like. Yeah, that's a plus because the larger the K400 series and K400 Plus series doesn't have this little thing that you can put the larger tech. Um, well, the larger that receiver into, um, it doesn't have that. In order to put it on, you have to just lay it right there on the side of the keyboard and then snap the cover on. Uh, and sometimes when you have the little unified receiver right there, the safekeeping, sometimes you can't get the cover on. It's really hard. But since they have this, so you put the unified receiver on, is a plus um is a plus but i think the last of the if i can remember correctly i think that the last of the k400 series keyboards come with batteries i do believe um you have to see my unboxing video i did of the last of the k400 keyboards I do believe that they came with the batteries. Um, I'm not too sure at the moment. I forget, but it was a long time ago that I did this. Um, but I will do a video comparison between this keyboard and the Logitech K400 and the Logitech K400 Plus. I'm gonna do a whole video series between the three keyboards and tell you which one is the best one, I think. But this, being on the case so you can snap the unified receiver inside the cover and then snap the cover on easily is a plus i like that oh really um that's a plus um but there's a few things about this keyboard that i don't really understand at the moment um this marker, I don't like the way it leaves an impression right there on the um, keyboard. Um, I don't like that. Um, I have to give a, I have to knock off a star for that. So right now, I think 
I'm gonna give this a four star rating right now. Um, but I have yet to use it, um, so I have to use it um, and then give my first impressions. But I can't use it until I get some batteries. Oh, the cover was easily to snap on and off. And the um, power button to turn on and off is right there. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do a review on this Chinese keyboard right here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call this the Chinese keyboard because it's made in China. So I'm just I'm just gonna call it a Chinese keyboard. But either way, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's not too bad. It's kind of like the Logitech Key 400, but you know. Um, not too bad, not too bad. So, um, I hope everyone enjoys that unboxing of the Logitech Chinese keyboard. Uh, and, um, yeah. But... Yeah, I'm just call, I'm not just calling a Chinese keyboard. I think I think that's a good name for it, a Chinese keyboard. So, um, that's my unboxing of the Chinese keyboard, and um, this is a Power Nine Nine FM here. Same peace and same classy, yo. And I'll see you in my Chinese keyboard review. Peace, power family. I see you in the next one. Stay classy, yo. Stay classy. Look at this, bro. Look at this. It keeps on removing me from the match. Look at this. This is up in the limited for inactivity again. As always, do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment to the one, the only, the Power 99 FM. <laughs> oh my god. You can be dead, huh? Oh man, that was fucking. Oh, she messed up on the Power 99 FM. She messed up on everything. You messed up on everything. Damn, that was a fail, Alessa. That was a fail. You messed up on everything. Wow. Wow, that was a fail. You 